You know, we could already seed Mars with life from Earth if we really wanted to. There are these hardy organisms called lichens that look a bit like mosses or molds. But in reality they're a symbiosis of fungi and algae or cyanobacteria to be precise. And it turns out these could actually survive on the red planet for a very long time. A team of researchers took two rugged but distinctly different species of lichen and put them to the test, exposing them to a simulated environment of the harsh conditions on Mars. The first one was Diploschistus muscorum, a crust-forming species already known to tolerate highly toxic levels of heavy metals. It does so by mass-producing secondary metabolites to fight antioxidants and prevent desiccation. The second one was Cetraria aquiliata, a fruticos lichen more shrubby in shape, often found in Arctic regions. Unlike Diploschistus, it doesn't have quite the same chemical defenses, but it's unusually efficient at photosynthesis in low light and can stay metabolically active in cold, dry environments. Both species were locked inside a Mars simulation chamber for several weeks. Inside was a cold, thin atmosphere with high radiation and barely any water. Despite this, both survived. And more than that, they showed signs of ongoing photosynthesis, not just passive endurance, but active life processes. This doesn't mean we could just plant a Martian forest tomorrow, but it does raise interesting questions. What if such extremophiles were seeded on Mars and then left to their own devices? Not in a greenhouse or under human supervision, but as the first settlers. Could they adapt ever further, change slowly across generations and diversify into many different species? Could even small animals like tardigrades be introduced to their ecosystem and do the same? And if left for thousands or even millions of years, would an entire new branch of life evolve there? Something that sprang from Earth but became something new. Keep an eye on my channel and we'll explore that question in a future video.